In this example, we will review how to use the chase cell upwind seam to measure the leach and luff profile of a mainsail. So as with any other measurements, make sure you're starting with the correct image type for this measurement. In this case, we need to make sure that the tack and the clue of the mainsail are lined up in the image from behind. Now, once you've selected the appropriate image, Go over to your scene drop down menu in the edit tab and make sure you've selected the chase sail upwind scene from the drop down list. Additionally, you'll want to make sure, just for proper record keeping, that you've selected the appropriate sails that you had up and potentially the correct mast in case you also want to do a mast measurement on the same image. Once you've selected the appropriate details, head on over to the measure tab and you'll notice here that we have several pre populated items including a length reference, a mass square, as well as the luff curve, miter curve, and leech curves um, that we can put in and overlay on the image to get our measurements out. The first measurement I'm going to drop in is just a length reference. Um, I like to use a second spreader, but using the width of the transom is another perfectly acceptable alternative and is something that should not change regardless of the image type. So I'm going to ensure that the length reference is highlighted in blue I'm going to select my plus sign, which is also highlighted in blue, so I can drop my two points here. And with that, I have put in my length reference. The next item I'm going to put in, again, is just a scene square. So we have a reference line similar to when you're measuring lateral mass bend. I'm going to use the two dots on the transom and just make sure that I've marked that with where I think the center of the rig is. All right, next up is putting in the luff curve. And today I'm just gonna look at the luff and leech curves, but if you want to measure miter, you can drop that in as well, and the process is just the same. So to start with the luff curve, I'm gonna ensure that the luff curve is highlighted in blue. I'm also going to select the plus button, make sure that's highlighted in blue. And then holding the shift key down to zoom into the image, just like you would on a map and then panning with my trackpad, I'm going to start placing dots on the luff of the sail. So it's really important that you zoom in all the way and have as high res an image as possible so you can really make sure that this part of your scan is as accurate as possible. Now I like to place a few dots along the sail. You shouldn't need more than a few, but you can have as many as you'd like. Alright, so once I've placed those, I'll just run over and make sure that I'm happy with how this curve is sitting. So to adjust any of the curves or locations of the points, I've selected this tool here in the middle. And this will allow me to drag and move both the red dots as well as the blue dots, which actually represent the Bezier curves. So I can adjust the curvature of the red line connecting the red dots using these. So just take some time to familiarize yourself with the blue dots to make sure that your curve fits the way you'd like it. And next up, I'm just going to quickly run through and do the leech. So it's the same exact process. You should be able to capture, even on a sail, on a 40 meter rig, you should be able to capture the curve with just a few points. And for instance, here I noticed that I want to just do a slight adjustment on this curve. So I'm going to use the blue dot to adjust that. Quickly scroll down the rest of the image. Do a couple of quick adjustments. Make sure I'm happy with where everything is sitting. So this one I want to adjust where my red dot is. I drop that one. Not exactly where I'd like it. And everything else looks good. So I'm going to zoom out. And I'll hit save. And I'll go to view my results.